Okay, what I'm going to do okay. is take a drop of your blood and we'll put it on a slide and put it under the microscope and that will magnify it like 30,000 times. Okay. We'll wow. put that image on a TV monitor. Okay. And what we'll be looking at are your red and white blood cells and from that we can determine a lot of factors and we have a worksheet that we go by. And um, then there's a lot of other blood elements that come into play also and uh, then as we go along we'll explain the problems that may occur with some of these elements that we see and some of these are healthy elements also. So that's about the gist of what we're going to do. There's Black something This is a live blood cell analysis. Okay. Yeah. okay, live blood cell analysis. And how does this differ from actually getting your blood work drawn in a lab? Well, when you get your blood drawn in a lab, you just get the results later on and usually you just get numbers. With the live blood here, you actually see your blood live on TV. So, cool. this way, you know, we can determine a lot of factors. And then we give recommendations as to how to correct some of these problems as to diet, exercise, and nutritional products. Okay. All right. So, you know, what we're going to do, Jim, there, God, there Oh, we are. that's great. That's very good. Jim. It's looking so healthy. That's my it's not, that, not It's not sticking together. You no. Like oh. <gasps> okay. That's the best so, I've seen in a couple of days. Really? Here's what uh, good blood should look like. The blood cells, yeah. Like. The red blood cells yeah. Oh, yeah. should be separated, uniform in size, flowing freely, and things like that. Well, what about now, this? Oh, God. So you would tell me, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> now, what you notice, you have a lot of your red blood cells are all separated and things like that. Yeah. Now what this means is your pH is up. Your blood is on a scale from 1 to 15. 7.5 is what we strive for. We're up anything over is alkaline, anything under is acidic. So if your blood is really clumped together and sticking together your red blood cells, that means your blood is really on the acidic side. However, we're looking at a pretty good blood picture here because this has a lot of uh, factors. And the fact is uh, your diet apparently uh, uh, what's your diet like, Jim? He's a, he's 100% raw vegan for mm -hmm. over a year. Okay. Well, what have we seen before? <laughs> I'm going to tell you. It never and, fails. It's yeah. amazing. And <laughs> what also this shows here is the fact that when we see red blood cells like this, this is a very good health environment. And um, it means you're getting adequate oxygen to your body. So if you're getting adequate oxygen to your body, it means that, you know, puts you in a, just a healthy state. And so you're less susceptible to catching diseases, catching anything, sickness that comes down the road. Because if your blood is really acidic, and if we're looking at situations, let's say such as this, mm -hmm. which we call a Roulet effect when the red blood cells are on in a chain-like effect, or where they're really aggregated, the whole uh, screen would be all clumped together with nothing but red blood cells. We really couldn't see anything else. Well, we really have a very acidic situation here, and which means that we have a person that's very susceptible to, you know, health pro challenges and probably problems in the future, in the short-term future. So consequently, we want to keep those red blood cells separated. And once you have that oxygen flowing to your body, that means a lot of different things too. It means you're getting good circulation through your arms, your legs, things like this. Okay, now looking at your red <laughs> blood cells here. Sure. We're looking, most of them seem pretty uniform in size, however we do have a couple small ones there and uh, we do have a little bite stay where they should be round like this. Yeah, what's See, that's, going on with that? That means that we have a little free radical damage where the bites are taken out. Oh. And uh, so we have a little bit of that uh, that's showing up there. Also, how about uh, supplements? What do you do uh, with supplements there? I really don't take any supplements okay. regularly. Yeah. When you have your red blood cells where they're, let's say, smaller and larger, and see so we have some kind of tiny ones there compared to some of these others here, and it means like you have a deficiency in your B vitamins and probably your folic acid. Not that bad. The only thing is that showing up a little bit more is your free radical damage there. Now let's just scoot around here a little bit more. How long now, Wendy, have you been a raw food? I've been raw. 
Four years, three years, 100%. Almost three 100%. years. 100%. Wow. Yeah, yeah Ravi again. For three years? Yeah, but go ahead and look at this. Uh. I'm sick. Mm -hmm. All right. No, no, no. Okay, now we're you know we're seeing a little more clumping here and everything else like that, and that and that seems kind of strange, doesn't it? What do you do, Wendy? I have Lyme disease. You have Lyme disease. You do really. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. How long have you had that? About five months now, four months. Why are you but, kidding? What happened? It's so painful. When he was taking the blood, my arm was oh, killing me. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh. no. My arm, yeah. We think it was in April. We went to the park for her birthday. We th were thinking maybe then. Oh, my goodness. So we didn't want to say anything until we Found saw the blood. Uh huh. Oh, no. I wonder if that, that's having an influencing factor here. I'm on an antibiotic now. Oh. Well, make I'm taking sick. all kinds of supplements. There's all the stress. Oh, well, we no. have to have stress related here and things like that. And see, we have, there's two tiny white blood cells here and there's yeah. another little larger one there. And um, we're seeing a little more white blood cell activity. And Look notice we sick. have, you know. Oh my, it's not that bad. It looks. It's pretty sick. But uh, why? Why do they clump together like that? What? What is it that causes that? Well, it can't be from the diet because you're doing everything right. It has to be. How about exercise? You. Well, how about being you, on an antibiotic? That's yeah, the antibiotic. Sick. Where? Uh, are you taking a probiotic? No, I'm too. taking probiotics. I'm taking enzymes. I'm enzymes. taking systemic and digestive, digestive enzymes. Yeah. Okay. I'm taking that's magnesium important. because the, the lime takes your magnesium, so like my magnesium is really low. Oh really? Yeah. If you research it, lime is worse than cancer. Your body Right there is a is a little crystal and that's an indication of usually sometimes we'll see like three or four or a half dozen together like that. Uh, poor digestion of fats like your food isn't being absorbed like it should be. Uh, however, let's see if we find any more now. Oh, Go, going around. It was heart shaped. It was heart shaped. <laughs> now I want you to know, Wendy, this is not even nearly what we've seen with some people. I want you to know that. We expected to see it far better. You, you, That's why going, we're all a you rarely see anything like gyms. This is really. still not a bad. <laughs> At all. I mean, I just want you to know this is not horrible. Yeah. Hey, Mom's dead. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, it's not that. No, it's no. not that bad. It's not, really, Come because we've seen a lot worse. It just means dry. your blood is more your is more on the acidic side. Your pH is off, and uh, of course your your diet, your greens and things like that, or your alkaline uh, foods, and uh, anything else is acidic. But as far as that's concerned, you're on the right track. Are you so under everything. major stress around yeah. this, right? Yeah, it's You painful. have to be. Yeah. It's really painful. Oh, you, have to, you have to be because... I can't even dress myself. You're yeah. kidding. It's been two months now. She hasn't made a meal for herself in a couple months. Oh. You're kidding. I didn't know this. Oh, my goodness. Well, she can't move her arms. She's got, like, arthritis so bad because of the Lyme and inflammation that she can't do anything. <laughs> She's, she can't do anything. Mm -hmm. So now you're going to jab me with a, with a needle or something? Well, just a little bit. And you're going to cry? It's very small. It's a, yeah, the smallest little part. You hardly feel it. It's just one little, one drop of blood, and he puts it on a slide. We've even had children come through and have their blood tested. And even children can do it. Sunshine, Elise, oh, okay, no. Monday, he didn't Don't quick, don't quick. He don't didn't even have it in his hand no, yet. No, no. Just relax son. a little bit. He's got to bring or some blood to the top of your finger. Gosh, just relax a little bit. It's not funny, it's not funny. It's not funny. So are you guys ready for the raw, the potluck? No, oh, we have to clean and we have to. Oh, you have time. And we have to well, do all that stuff. Anyway. It's gonna be. Know. It's gonna you know, ten you days. Did you did it. That's it. You did it. Oh, <laughs> see, it was so <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay now. Are you okay? It's all the scary okay. part's done. Okay.